The Minnesota State Patrol says two DFL leaders did not get any preferential treatment after a first responder found an open alcohol container in their crashed vehicle. The crash involved State Auditor Julie Blaha and Senate DFL leader Melissa Lopez Franzen last summer. The case file just became public, reported first by a conservative news outlet. Political reporter Theo Keith went through it today and he joins us now with more. Theo, what did you find out? Well, the state patrol cited Blaha for failure to yield, but both the patrol and the Redwood County attorney concluded that the two did not violate Minnesota's open container law. Republicans are questioning the investigation. Okay, can you feel your fingers and yeah, your toes? Okay. Squad video shows two Minnesota DFL leaders in a ditch after their car collided with a semi at a Redwood County intersection and rolled. Okay. It was last August. Auditor Julie Blaha and Senator Melissa Lopez Franzen had left Farm Fest and were headed to an after party. It's what happened during the on scene investigation that's led to controversy. The assistant fire chief in Morgan told troopers that an open, cold can of white claw hard seltzer spilled onto him as he was retrieving Lopez Franzen's backpack from the car after the crash. How much liquid do you think was in there? It was pretty full. Pretty full. I mean, it's, it got my arm pretty good. It got the, the backpack pretty good. Blaha was driving and says troopers asked her to take a breath test, and she responded, quote, hell yes. Records show she registered a .00. Lopez Franzen told troopers that she drank the White Claw at Farm Fest. The can was empty, and she put it in her backpack. Blaha says the open can that spilled was a non-alcoholic fruit drink. According to state patrol emails, the Redwood County attorney recommended only a citation to Blaha for failure to yield. State Patrol Colonel Matt Langer tells Fox 9 that the patrol thoroughly and objectively investigated the crash, including the White Claw. In the minutes after the collision, Lopez Franzen is seen calling DFL party chair Ken Martin, who was at Farm Fest. Video shows Martin pulling up in the DFL marked van, then asking a trooper what happened. So I know you know this, but these are two elected officials. Yep. One is a statewide elected official. Martin and the other DFL staffers left after about 20 minutes in minimal interaction with the one trooper. Hours after the crash, a state patrol lieutenant concluded that the White Claw container was empty. Both Blaha and Lopez Franzen have issued statements in the past few days praising the investigation. Randy, Kelsey. All right, Theo, thank you.